Hey there, everybody. Thanks for being with us tonight. Portland's Jewish community coming together to mourn the lives lost to Hamas in a vicious attack on Israel. At the same time, dozens of people supporting Palestinian freedom gathered in Monument Square. New Center Rings' Alex Haskell was there and joins us live in Portland with the details. Alex. Zach, tonight emotions were high as pro-Palestinian and pro-Israeli protesters clashed right here in Monument Square. Police were standing by, but never had to step in. Only one side in this war is their occupation. Tensions at this Portland rally reflecting a decades-long conflict between Israel and Palestine. It was spelled out on signs and in shouting matches between dueling protesters. I wanted to speak more on the question of It comes just days after Hamas's deadly attack on Israel that plunged the region into war. We are here to show our support with the Palestinian people. What's happening right now is horrific. The dozens that gathered in Monument Square waved Palestinian flags and called for the end of Israel's occupation of Palestinian territories. They have been losing their land, being pushed off their land violently. Maine Senator Susan Collins condemning the rally's organizers, saying in part, terrorists went house to house, indiscriminately murdering everyone from babies to senior citizens in wheelchairs. They should be condemning Hamas rather than excusing these appalling tactics. Money for homes and education, not for war and occupation. In the distance, a peaceful counter protester came to show their support for Israel. There's one thing to be said about people on the field of battle engaging in combat, but there's another thing to attack children in their sleep. And on the other side of the city, a somber moment at Temple Bethel, as more than 400 community members mourned the loss of the more than 1,000 Israelis killed in just the last week. It's very heartwarming. The temple's executive director, Kate Shalvoy, says it was an opportunity to be amongst those who understand each other's pain. We hope that this conflict comes to a speedy close and that we are praying for all of the people who are being injured in the conflict. Senator Collins was not the only one to condemn the rally here today. Congressman Jared Golden calling it, quote, almost laughable were it not so sickening. Now, the only thing clear tonight, Zach, is that the people we spoke with say they don't want to see any more bloodshed. Alex Haskell live in Portland tonight. Thank you. Now, behind all of this is a complicated history, one many of us don't truly understand. Tensions between Palestinians and Israelis have existed for more than a century now, since even before Israel was founded in 1943. Israel captured Gaza from Egypt in 1967, which led to protests from Palestinians over Israeli occupation. Israel withdrew their troops from the state in 2005, and it was then, in the next two years, a Palestinian militant group, a now designated terrorist organization known as Hamas, entered Gaza and came into power there. Now, Israel outwardly gave up control of the Gaza Strip that same year, but the country went on to institute a land and sea blockade of Gaza to, they say, protect the Israeli state Israel. And Hamas have fought each other in several wars in recent years, the last in 2021.